and we have a fake stock market, we have a fake housing market, we have a fake bond market, we have a fake economy. It's all built on a house of cards and it's all about to fall. No matter what happens in Eastern Europe or what happens in Asia, what's gonna happen right here is what we really need to be concerned about because all hell is about to break loose right here in the US. Get your house in order, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is beginning to accelerate. It's beginning to expedite. And we, we've watched this slow kill of this economy over the last few years. It's beginning to accelerate. Once this housing market begins to fall apart, we're gonna watch the stock market implode. And it is going to impact tens, if not hundreds of millions of people um, right here in America. And don't forget, your money markets, your 401ks, your pensions are all tied in. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakodash, the bonus to my apostle, Elder's great meal, son of Ruel, peace and salutation, all the Aki, and pushing his truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. And you heard it out of uh, Esau's mouth, man. Hey, you seeing the fall of his empire, you seeing the fall of Babylon the Great, man. This is the time where you need to be setting our house in order with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. And like we said, we're talking about you Israelites, you Negro Latino and Native Americans. This is the high time you, it's like it, that you need to be separating yourself from the ways of this world because this world is done. This man's society is over. The Lord is about to uh, visit Babylon the Great, man, which he's gradually doing with these prophecies that's starting to come to pass, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 38, verse 1. In those days, Hezekiah is sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, said the, Thus said the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. And that's the same spirit we're coming in, man. We're coming in that same spirit, telling the Negro Latin Native American to set thy house in order, get right with the Heavenly Father, because the time of judgment is at hand. The Lord is visiting Babylon the Great. The eyes of the Lord are upon what the sinful kingdom. Let's grab that real quick. This Amos chapter 8, verse 9. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the, off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, thus said the Lord. So the Lord is what? He's watching the sinful kingdom. The sinful kingdom is twofold. It represents the Negro Latino Native American, the Israelites, but it's really, but it also is talking about America, because America's did what? Took the law of statute commandments upon himself. In 1984, Ronald Reagan said, what? Is the Bible's the law of the land. But what they don't uphold the Bible, man. Like when you read the book of Psalms 50 and 16, man. What that what does that have to do to declare that statues, man? But we're seeing that the Lord is what he's watching this place. And he's visiting Babylon the Great. This is why you're seeing the plagues and the in the in the corrosion and the worms and the decay is starting to, to to show in this society. Like he said, man, it's this the system's rigged. The system's rigged. Verse 9, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like a corn is sifted in the sleeve and, and yet shall not the least grain fall upon the ground. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake or prevent us. And that's the mindset of a nigga. This is the time where you need to be setting your house in order and getting right to the Heavenly Father. Seeing that this man, Esau, Edom, he, he's telling you out of his own mouth that his society is done. America's finished. It's, it's done. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no big back built about better like you you seeing they running with their campaign. This place is done. They're trying to set they're trying to set up their new world order, man. Their fourth industrial age. This is what you're seeing is taking place, man. With all these different types of plagues and things that are taking place in society, the Esau is orchestrating, but it's really the spirit of the Lord, man. All these so-called cargo shipments and things like that, all this uh, so-called various cyber attacks and things like that. This is Esau Edom trying to set the stage for his fourth industrial age with an identification. A digital identification system that he's setting up will be backed by the MOTV once they crash his society and they will ration out the food. This is why you're seeing the inflation because the, the bubble is starting to, it's a ripple effect. It's, it's, it's trickling down the pipe. Like like Apostle Gabarro say, it's circling down the drain. America's done. This place is finished, man. This is the high time that you need to be what? Uh, separating yourself. Real quick, Micah 2 and 10. The book of Micah chapter 2. In verse 10, Arise ye, depart, for this is not your rest, but because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with destroy destruction. And then you see, in America's polluted, it's done. This place is finished, man. It said it will even destroy you with a sword destruction. You putting your trust in this system, man. You putting all your faith and your trust in this man's system, and it's going to destroy you, man. It's going to lead to the road of destruction. 
That's what it's going to lead to, man. You're not setting your house in order and get right with the Lord. You're gonna, it's going to lead to you to die. Out here, man, the Lord setting up different avenues of death. Vengeance is out here. People getting mauled down by dogs, women getting put to death, getting their heads cut off. All various ways of death is taking place where the death angels are what? Here in Babylon the Great. Because this place is circling in the drain. It's finished, man. All the, the so-called economy is done. All these so-called mom and pop shops, all these so-called businesses, the so-called infrastructure, everything in the system is finished. So now's the time you need to be separating yourself and get right with the Lord, man. Real quick. Isaiah 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion represents what America, man. The city of confusion represents America, man. And it says kun means what? With fusion means mixture, man, because it's mixed with all these different race. All it's the big melting pot. All these different type of philosophies, all these idols. It's the Babylon of Great. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's full of all the wickedness that was in all these different other empires that was flourishing. But Esau Edom, he did what he crafted and mastermind to manipulate the minds of the people and having a sunken place where they can't even see that they're being bewitched with all these divinations and, and damn witchcraft, man. And it says... Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And that's what you're seeing, man. All these different uh, so-called jobs, all these different mom and pop shops. But more so, all like everything's going to be closed down. Because they're going to do what? They're going to they're gonna cause some type of major event where they're going to really close up the highways. All these different places where people go shop. They're going to close it down, man. You're going to see barricades. And you're going to see what? Uh, you're going to see these different types of um, so-called blockades set up where you can't go in and out the city, man. Because they're going to set up the troops, man. Verse 11, there's a crying for wine in the streets, and that wine represents this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because, hey, once this Amos 8 and 11 really take effect, which you see now that I'm on another page, because that got a strike. Once you, that Amos 8 and 11, that feminine of the word, really take effect, where they come down with these draconian laws upon the internet and on how, and, and they get brothers out the highways and hedges with the persecution, with this false narrative they're going to use. Hey, man, people going to be wondering what's really going on. And, it, and mainly you tries, man, because you walk, you walk in, in, in great confusion. You trust in Egypt. And that's why it says in Isaiah 30 chapter, let Egypt be to your confusion and your shame. And it says all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. And you can see that all these different ways, of, all these sports, sports and all this shit is done. It's finished, man. It's done. It's done. You can tell, man. You can tell. You can just look around and tell that nobody. Everybody is in a spirit of, uh, of distress, man. Real quick. This book is Second Edge, chapter fifteen, verse uh, verse ten. Behold, my people is led as they flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that's what you're seeing taking place, man, because they're not paying attention. That's why the scripture say, "Now is a high time to wake up out of sleep." You niggas asleep, man. You been led straight to the slaughter, man. They setting you tribes up. All these so-called summit meetings that they take place is is to uh, is to conspire to come against you tribes, man. To, to figure out a way to keep you in this, this state of mind you is now. Now they're coming for your souls with the MOTB. That how you fully, uh, for you trusting in the B system. Verse uh, 11. I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And this is what you're seeing. Egypt represents America. We were sold into Egypt when you read in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Again, with ships. Egypt represents America, man. Double straits, bondage. And it says, and it says, and Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague, and the punishment of Yahweh shall bring upon it. And this is what you're seeing, man. People in a state of, state of uh, perplexity, a state of distress, not knowing when the next dollar's coming, not, 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 they seeing that the government doesn't really support them and have their back. They seeing that everything in society was a lie, it was a dream. And you, you fell for the American dream. Now they're seeing that what, man? It's becoming a nightmare. All these people are being homeless. Homeless rates at an all-time high. Uh, crime is at an all-time high. Everything in society is done. Like he said, man, it's about to get bad out here, man. Now is the high time you need to be setting your house in order and getting right with the Lord. Because the Lord is visiting this place, man. The event you said fail, man. Everything in society is failing. It's done. It had its, it had its run. Now you're seeing what? You're seeing that, that these plagues starting to increase, man. All these plagues, a famine of food, man. All these things is going to start to increase in, the, in these latter days, man. Verse, uh, verse, let me see, verse 13. 
and and they that uh, till the ground shall mourn for the seed shall fail through the blasting in hell and with a fair constellation. That's what you're seeing, man. All these farmers that, that uh, Bill Gates and bought up all the farmland and got them to sell their land. Why? Because because all these so-called patterns or uh, different types of uh, blizzards and weather patterns, which he was using his his uh, his uh, manipulating the weather. But hey, they don't have they didn't have the money to help build back their infrastructure as far as to keep the farmland afloat, man. They didn't have enough employees to pay to keep everything afloat, man, especially when the Crown Royal 99 hit, man. So they they in a state of mourning. They sold all their land. The cattle was, you know, is gone. Because why they hoard all these so-called elites, the, the, the BGs, they're hoarding all this stuff to themselves. And it says, verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. And that's what you're gonna see take place, man. Because when it's a lack of food, when people and the food is gonna be rationed out by the government, people are gonna be rioting and protesting. It's gonna be what anarchy. It's gonna be the, like you see in purge, but it's gonna be like, well, what you see purge forever. Because it's not. It's gonna be. It's gonna be bad out here, man. And we've been telling Jakes for years, man. Starting our apostles and elders, a great millstone with light mind brothers for for years, telling you man, it's about to get bad out here, man. Real bad, man. You need to get get right. Set thy house in order with, with your how about Shemal Shah. But you see Jake, man. They in a state of, state of complexity, state of rest, thinking everything's good. But, hey, these things is going to come upon them unaware. Just like these damn devils, Esau, Edom. And, and the majority of these damn Edomites, they see this society finished, man. It's just you, Jakes, that's still putting your trust in the society, getting your tax money going up, blowing it on stupid shit. When everything around you is going up, all the prices is going up, the gas is going up, this society's finished. But you, Jakes, is putting your full trust in the society, thinking everything's going to go back to normal. When it's done, this place is finished, man. This place is finished. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, obey one another, and they shall not regard their kings or princes, and of course, and their actions shall stand in their, in their power. And this is what we're going to see straight anarchy, man. Straight anarchy, major major events taking place as far as a lot of a lot of things, man. False false, false flags that's going to lead to the, the crippling of this economy, the crippling of the power grid, and, 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 and the, the moral, the really rapid decline of moral in the society, which you see now, man. This perverse spirit is mingled in the midst of, man, amongst these people. These people are finished. They don't know what the hell's going on. These people aren't even paying attention. They just got their phones in their face, and they're just looking at dumbass shit on, face, on Facebook, Instagram, and all these different social media platforms. Why they setting these draconian laws right in your face? You people are very stupid, man. The scriptures say, Isaiah 60 and 2, Behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people. And that's what you're seeing, man. People are in gross darkness, man. The morals of these people and the spiritualities people are are very low, man. These people don't care about what's really going on. As long as they can have their little so-called little bit of entertainment and their, and their so-called drugs to keep them, keep, them, keep them at bay, they don't care, man. They don't care. This is why the Lord said he, he's coming to the thief in the night. These people are going to, it's going to catch these people uh, off guard, especially you Jakes, man. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble, man. Cause it's, cause it's mainly about you Negro, Latino, Native Americans. He said, for, for behold, uh, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and the glory shall be seen upon thee. And that's the, that's the, that's 144,000. 144,000, the men of the Lord is actually pushing the word, man. That's that, that's that glory, man, that light, man, that wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Like it says in Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter, I think the first verse, wisdom make a uh, wise man face to shine, man. People are going to see that hey, the Lord is dealing with them. They're going to see a difference between the, themselves and the, the, and, and the men of the Lord in these last days, man. Because what it says, man, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will be our stability of these times and strength for our salvation. Stability go back to keeping us stable. Understanding what the what the will of the Heavenly Father is, man. That's why the scriptures say you have to understand the will of the Heavenly Father. We understand that. This is the will of the Heavenly Father is the is to destroy this place, man. Isaiah 46 and 10, real quick. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So this is the will of the Heavenly Father to get rid of Babylon the Great and usher in the kingdom of heaven. And, and usher it in and give it to his beloved son Yahweh Shah. This is the will of the Heavenly Father. And to the what? To the joint heirs that it will be that will bestow the victory through Yahweh Shah. That we joint heirs with that we joint heirs with him. That's what we're seeking for, man. We're seeking for eternal life. We're not seeking for this corruptible crown. We're seeking for an incorruptible crown. 
which is led by the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, by our beloved brother Yahweh Shah. That's what we're seeking for, man. For here we, like the scriptures say, for here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. We can see the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But a hey, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they can't see that. They see, they see this place going on because why they're blind. Like it. Give me a second. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 14. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. If any blind lead the blind, the both shall fall into the ditch. And that's the mindset of our people. They're blind. They're dumb dogs. They don't know what the hell's going on. He said, the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. And this is what you're seeing, man. Our people fall into that ditch, represent all these snares and traps of, of, of believing in Esau Edom. They've been led to the slaughter, man. You're trusting in this system. You're trusting in your so-called real estate. You're trusting in this banking system. All these various avenues of America that was going to lead into destruction. That's where you lay your trust at, and this is going to lead to your destruction, man. Your trust should be in the Lord, man. Real quick. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. And that's the mindset you're supposed to be in. Trusting in the Lord with all thy heart. The heart represents the Hebrew word la'ai, which is your mind. And lean not on your own understanding, man. You got to understand the scripture say the thoughts of man, of man is vanity, man. You put your trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's what's going to get us. That's what's going to guide us. That's what's going to be our stability of the times, man. Putting our trust in the Lord, man. Understand what his will is, man. Verse, verse 6, and all the ways of knowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, man. So you acknowledge your Yahweh Shem Shah, he's going to direct your paths, man. Especially in the time that's approaching, he's going to be directing your paths, man. Keep you in that, keeping you through that straight gate, man, and that narrow path, man. Understanding his will. Because, hey, it's like we said, we always say, it's about to get bad out here, man. Yeah, ain't, ain't much you really can say to Jake to tell him the Lord's going to turn this shit up. And you, Jay's man, that's not taking heed. He said, all the sinners of my people should die by the sword. The sword represents different avenues of death. That's what's coming. Different various avenues of death is coming for you two-third niggas, man. And also you heathen. Because you heathen walked in great pride thinking that you're going to be a neck. And you think you, that you're going to always stay in a position of power and, and serve authority over the Israelites, man. You heathen are done. And you proud-ass niggas that trust these heathen, your ass is done too, man. This is Second Edgers. Eight and fifty, second edge eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. And that's all you proud ass niggers and you got them heathen, especially them Edomites, man, because you very proud, man. You really think that's, that, that that nothing's gonna happen to you. That's the mindset of an Edomite, man. And you niggas, hey, you in that same mindset, man. John eight, John eight and forty four. You are the father. You do the love to the father. You are a devil. Hey, it's real quick. I grab it, so I won't. I ain't trying to butcher it. This is John eight forty four. Ye are the father of the devil, and the lust of your father ye would do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speak of a lie, he speak up of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And that's the mindset of you niggas, man. And it's talking about who? Esau Edom, man. Because Esau Edom, forefathers who Cain. That's that same spirit that's brought forth back on the earth again. And you can see it, man, through his actions, through his works, man. He's in that, that he's right in there. That's the same spirit he's always been in. And you two third niggas, that's the same spirit you always been in. Because every man should fall in his light in the last days, man. Because you two third niggas have to pay for what? Hey, you wanted Barnabas, right? You want to get how a shot to be slewed on that cross, right? Let the scripture say, let us, y'all said what? Let his blood be upon us and our children. So the Lord is, he's honoring that, man. He's honoring that. Because real quick, the Lord ain't forgot about you niggas, man. The Lord ain't forgot. This uh, Numbers 14 and verse 18. The Lord is long suffering and great in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty. It says by no means clearing the guilty, man. So you have to pay for what you've done in your past life, man. Just like Esau even has to pay for the, what he's been doing in his past life and what he's doing now. And it says, visiting iniquity of the fathers upon the third, so like visiting iniquity upon the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation. This is what you're seeing, man. 
This is what you're seeing, man. The Most High is visiting. He's about to start visiting the earth, man. He's already been visiting the earth, but as Inkram, but he's going to really visit the earth. And you're going to know that a higher power, which is his name is Yahweh, and his beloved son of Yahweh Shah, is doing this, man. Because you people walk in great pride. You don't believe in God. That's why it says in Psalms 14, the fool said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They are, their works are, are abominable, roughly paraphrasing. And that's the mindset of a damn nigga and these damn Edomites and these heathen nations, man. And so the Lord, is he's going to hit every idle word, right? He's going to honor that. He's going to humble you goddamn people, man. By what? The same shall know it by death, by pain. So all these various things that is taking place is lead into the destruction of Babylon the Great. Like the Esau said in the start of the video, this place hey, is rigged. The, 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 the whole system's rigged. And it, and it's about to it, it's about to explode, man. It's about to explode, and it's gonna and it's gonna uh, show that you niggas wasn't prepared for about to take place, man. That's why the scriptures say I ended with this. Revelation sixteen and fifteen. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And that's what's gonna see. That's what's gonna take place with you two third niggas, man. Because a, a, Egypt is going to be to your same confusion as you read uh, Isaiah the 30th chapter, man. You put your trust in it, it's going to be your shame and confusion. And the Lord said he comes as a thief. If you ain't watching, you don't know when he's coming, man. That's why I say blessed he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. And it's a blessing to be in the mindset of watching, man. That had an eye sound and to understand, man. That can see through the madness, man. Blesses your eyes that see and your ears that hear. And he said, and what? To keep his garment. That garment represents your wisdom, knowledge, your understanding. It's not talking about a physical garment, man. So it's the blessing within the fold that's actually seeing what's taking place in Babylon the Great and in various places around the world that's leading up to prophecy, man. So, man, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, now's a high time to wake up out of sleep and set the house in order, man, because the Lord, he's visiting this place, man. Real quick, I end with this. First Peter's 4. And 17, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. And that's the house of the Lord represents you, nigga, Latino, Native Americans, you Israelites. And it's saying if it first begin at us and us represent the, 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 the man that's trying, that's trying to get right with the Lord, man. That's, that's going through that that straight gate, man, that, that just been what that gold tried through the fire, man. And it said it first begin with us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? What should it be the end be of you niggas that don't want to get right and set your house in order because you see, and the Lord has a prophecy on the highways and hedges? Like it says in Luke 1 and 70, I have sp I, since the world began, I have spoke by the words of the prophets, man. So you niggas don't even want to get right. And you see that the men of the Lord are telling you, man, like like this, like I, the article I did yesterday before my uh, video got flagged. Hey, the, the Edomites said that, you, that the so-called conspiracy theories are 16 and 0. And we and we are in that same boat of conspiracy theories because we use these different avenues and platforms that Esau Edom uses to expose himself, man. Psalm 64 and 8, their tongues should fall, fall upon themselves. But we what? We line it up with scripture. We line it up with the prophecies that's taking place. We've been telling you, Jakes, what Esau Edom is about to do, that this new order is about to take effect and he's pushing it right in your face. Joe Biden said it yesterday. He said, well, America's going to lead the path for the new world order. So with them leading the path for the new world order, they have to get what? Rid of the old way. The old system, which is why it's called a global reset. And they're bringing forth what ushering in a digital current, a digital currency, a digital system that would be led and backed by the MOTB, Revelation 13 and 16. We've been telling you, Jakes, man, but you don't want to take heed. You walk in great pride, man. So many great misery is going to be done to you niggas because you dwell in this world without care. You didn't consider it. You're in that same mindset of Esau. Even you didn't consider the latter end that the destruction that's going to take place upon you, man. So, man, you Jace that don't want to get right, remember the Lord is going to, he's going to judge your ass. Verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? If the righteous are scarcely be saved, the righteous is, the, is it represents the men of the Lord that is actually doing the work, man. Put forth their hand to the plow, man. It's scarcely to be saved, man. Before the missiles hit, before that, for that, for them uh, Armageddon, before that missiles take place and hit this world, hit this uh, Babylon the Great, and the righteous get beamed up right before that destruction, they're going to scarcely be saved, man. Apparatus are Lord willing, I'm part of that number, man. Even after I have to be a mortar, man. Why? Because I understand the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. My work, our works are not in vain, man. It's all about faith, having faith in the Heavenly Father, man. Faith come by hearing the word, man. And faith come what? Being a doer of the word. And two-thirds of you niggas, you lack that, man. Because you don't trust in the Lord, man. 
This is what is, hey, it said, what should, if the righteous is scarce to be saved, what shall be the, un, what, where shall the ungodly in the center appear, man? Come on, man. And it says, wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of the Heavenly Father commit the keeping of their souls into him and well-doing and unto a faithful creator, man. So, a hey, Lord willing, we're found righteous in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. So he, he pardoned, the, uh, pardoned our iniquities and throw them into the sea, as the scriptures say, man. And we make it upon them ships, man. This is why we push forth the work, and this is why we do our videos, man. Because we want to be part of that number. We want to be joint heirs of Yahweh Shah. We want salvation at the end of the day. We don't want to. We don't want to take part of the destruction that's coming upon America. Because we know, hey, it ain't gonna be good. It ain't. So I just want to end it with that. Now is a high time to wake up out of sleep, Jake, and sit your house in order and get right to Heavenly Father, man. So I just want to say, call Halayim La. Yahweh by Hashem, I was shy by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostle, Elder's great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutation to all the Akim pushing this truth and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.